the kingdom advantage. Pray over the pray over pray over the day in the spirit. You don't know how the day is going to go, but the one that knows as you pray in the Holy Ghost, he captures all the 24 hours for you. You are, you are busy sleeping throughout the night. Remember, the have country to be complaining against all night that they are using to deliver you from what swallowed your ancestors. So that you can also be swallowed. One person was ministering to, to, to one member and the lady said she leaves her body 1 a.m. every night and comes back by 5 a.m. And the pastor said, where do you go and what are you? He said, just find us in the midst of some people and they start doing stuff. To who? To people that are <laughs> sleep like log of wood. In sense, am I saying you shouldn't sleep? We are not doing all night because we are afraid. You sleep when you need to sleep, you sleep fine. Sleep fine. And not make you afraid. That's what the Bible says. Cool sleep. Not also to also sleep. Not they are pursuing you. And as you are running, your feet are moving backwards. As you are running, it's like they are poured okra. You are moving, you are moving everything. You are just sleeping on one spot like this until they cut you. And as they grab your leg, you woke up. What kind of a dream is that? So when you hate to pray in the night, I suspect you. When you are complaining against all night, they say you should come and pray. Not for me. For you, you just come and do activity in the night that puts some stuff in you. I suspect you when you are reacting. Something is wrong. And I'm not saying you should be afraid. There's one sister that was always afraid. You couldn't sleep at home alone. The husband walks out of town. She attends every all night. We were at Elisha that time. I said, this sister, your life, manifestation of your life is not spiritual at all. You are more a woman of flesh. Any are near more than any of me. Why are you coming for all night? Don't, there must be something else apart from God that is your motivation. And then we found out that the husband doesn't say at all. He walks out of town. She can't sleep in. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking of that. Even when you don't have corporate all night, personally, you, you wake up to just fellowship with your father. Not praying fear prayer. I see if, if you don't pray, they will want that. If I don't pray, so I keep praying, I pray. If I close my eyes like this, they push uh, something in my mouth. If I close my eyes like this, they are holding my neck. So I have to say, I will pray, pray, pray. I say, you are applying the wrong method. It's not by praying, pray, pray, pray. What are you going to deliver yourself? If you can deliver yourself, why didn't you deliver them? You deliver yourself before now. You got born again. You are not feeding on the diet of the ego. You don't listen to messages. You are not reading the Bible personally. Your prayer is not fellowship with God. To bring the power of God into your life, you are now praying, 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 praying to, to bind the devil. That's, you are doing a wrong thing. You will continue like that until maybe not something bad not happen to you. you. Don't deal with the devil with prayer. <laughs> you deal with it. When the kingdom has grown inside you, it has grown. So grow the kingdom inside you. And let dominion work. Grow the kingdom inside you. And let dominion work. I'm going to stop here today and pick up next time because of our time. Watch your relationship. Let me read one more scripture. Watch your relationship. That is one major way that Christians go to get contaminated. They, they go to relate with people that are actively expressing demonism without designing. It's not, it's not spiritually alert. It's not, and it's not out of a sense of activating kingdom dominion. You understand what I'm saying? You have had that this year, testimony, those days we are going to, and then one man came, the occultic man that everybody feared, came and said, are you uh, Broshola? And he shook his hands. Those men, when they shake your hand with that, something in their hand, that bead on their hand, People don't survive it. Sometimes they have a ring on their hand. And daddy shook his hand. By the next week, that man died. They buried him. That is acting from. And then there was another man, young pastor. 
that one of daddy's friends went to his town, and then the, the, the one occultic man in town, notorious for evil, was passing by, and then they met, and they were greeting each other, giving each other high five, and things like that. And that senior man was asking, do you know who that person? He doesn't know his spirit. You don't relate intimately with people without knowing the spirit that they are of. That's where most Christians make mistakes. You are now multiplying your pastor's job. 18-year-old believer that should be joining pastor at the deliverance clinic. You are the one that is now coming there later until you are now vomiting. If not for the master of God, they should tell you to, 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 to swallow that vomit back and put you on 80 days fast. Of, of the world. You didn't tell, you won't tell the pastor where you have been going. Sometimes I tell them, I say, ask them, where has she been going? Where has he been trafficking? In an undesigned, weakened, spiritually weakened position, on design, you don't see. How can you go intimately with someone? You are discussing and that you open your heart, you have everything. That is a, you are creating a bridge before you have known the spirit that they are of. Everybody has spirit that they are of. Everybody has spirit that they, they, they worship. Some know it actively. Some don't know because they are ignorant, they are unsafe. Spiritual things side of their life is close to them, but it's going on. It's close to them, but it's going on. And there are some that, 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 that is. You know, daddy will say, <laughs> There's no witch that comes to church that he doesn't know. He may not talk until, until. <laughs> In 1 John chapter 1, he said that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. This is correct fellowship in the spirit. For the life was manifested, we have seen it, and bear witness and show unto you that, it, that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. That that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. That's the fellowship that the, the apostles had. So when they relate with people, they, they, they bear witness they extend their life to people. They bring them into that same fellowship. The same way. The same way. When you relate with people, you do admiration is a bridge. Subjugation also is a bridge. When you are greedy for gain, you always like what they would do. I say, be careful of the meat of the king. Because when you have taken it, will put knife to your throat. When you are ignorant of the spiritual side of somebody, and then you are going close, close, you see each other every day, you enter each other's houses, and you don't know the spiritual side, permit me to say you are a fool. A spiritual fool. Because soon you will get contaminated. Because they are working their kingdom. You are not working your own kingdom. So you come under. You come under. I had to minister to one woman. She said, get, and they get, there's one that this new, um, new colleague that just resumed as well. Oh, she's so nice. She's so lovely, pleasant, and things like that. And we started relating. I said, is she born again? That was what she was thinking. Is she, but I'm not sure, but I think she attends a church and things like that. So I said, um, so what else do you know about her? And then she said, I should just come over to her place and things. So I just went over one Saturday. I was not doing anything. I said, you are doing something. You are absent at your own father's duty post. So you had time on Saturday to go and um, she went, she visited. The lady gave her food. She ate. Is it wrong to eat food? No, 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 no. Why? You eat food. <laughs> you sanctify it with the word of God and prayer. That's what the Bible says. I enjoy good meal. And then, but because she, she was spiritually lax, spiritually insensitive, spiritually low, and the other lady was not lax. The other lady was on a mission of recruiting more people. Are you on a mission of recruiting sinners from hell to heaven? Actively. 
that you go befriend somebody in your office to win him to Christ. Not the other way around. Not that you say you are born again and they are smooching you in one corner in the office. An embarrassment to, 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 to the eternal life you carry. And then from that night, we see the lady sending out her out. Giving her awkward things to do. Give her clothes to wash. Give her grass to cut. Then I say, you are him for it. I said, you are him for it. You are him for it. You are him for it. If it was a pastor that said, you should come. We have two days prayer. God said he wants to avert evil for people. He said you don't have time. You don't have time. So that's what happened. She is now, with something demonic donation has entered her life. Maybe that one has initiated at a lower level. Subjugate her soul. Whatever. Which, which is foreign to Christianity. Foreign in Christ. Should never happen to a believer. A seed of the lion of the tribe of Judah that is supposed to be seated in Christ Jesus at the right hand of the Father. The heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers. They are now giving you cutlass to be cut in grass. So every promotion, they are now saying no more. No more. Even the one you hold to, so they said they are done sizing. They said they are done cutting. They said the promotion, they are withholding. That because the company can't afford the, to pay the, the promotion salary, you see, you are promoted by letter, but you will still continue earning the previous amount. Until when? Until, until. <laughs> Say, I will not be contaminated. I will not be contaminated. I will stand fast in the liberty we are with Christ has made me free. I want you to open your spirit and pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray for Holy Ghost to help. Make a wait, wait. Before we pray in the Holy Ghost, I want you to make a decision to go back to the Bible. To go and feed. Not to pick scriptures to confess. I'm the head and all this. Yeah, we will confess scripture, but to go and feed. Let the Holy Spirit feed your spirit. Go on the diet of the ego. Read your Bible. Old messages that God sent. You know, there are some teachings like this that when daddy finished me, it's so rich. It's so, it's so rich and so deep. It is meal. Meal of the spirit. Eat good diets. Go back to those messages. Create time. Block out two hours every day this month and get some of those old messages. Sit down. Like that message of the womb of the morning. The world will not recover from that message. <laughs> and some like that. The flight of the eagle. The, the concentrated message. Or you go and take um, the, the uh, battle plan over, what is that? The one that a battle plan against the, against the attacks of Satan. Get that message. In fact, I recommend that one for you this April. Get that message. I think it's about seven series or something. And listen to it. Listen to it. One. One. This is for the first one in two days. Every day for two days. Take the second one. Third and fourth day. Take the third one. On and on. Like that. Go back to the diet of the ego. Read your Bible. Take Ephesians. Read from verse one, chapter 1 verse 1. Until the last verse in chapter 6. Read, feed. If a scripture is not looking like you understand it, ask the Holy Ghost to open it up to you. Get to other, other versions that are safe. Feed and see what happens. You can't be loaded with the word of God and somebody is coming to, 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 to do what? No more strange experiences. You can't, you can't, you can't. And let me tell you this. There is a way the Holy Ghost comes to sensitize us. Because one of the ways the devil works is to make things that are going on in the spirit to not to make sense to you in the physical. 
so that you overlook it. So when under the anointing, that is ministry and ministry, and we are sharing examples, it is to open up something in you. Eh, so that, so that. So that, so that. So that when that is said, one brother was in bed with his wife and suddenly he saw the face of the wife turn to the face of the grandmother. And do you know what? After that, as far back as that, I have seen a lot of people that have had that same experience. Get into bed with his wife and he feels, sometimes it may not be the face of the grandmother, but just feel she's with an, a very old woman. And you know some of those, but he kept quiet. They keep quiet until they are in serious trouble. Because when only goes bring design and you ignore it. You enter into chains. The yoke of hell land on your neck and it tighten it and it's pulling you around. Tighten it and it's pulling you around. Because something is happening this morning. The Holy Ghost will begin to open your eyes and open your eyes. See the gift of designing of spirit. Distributions of the Holy Ghost. As at when needed, begin to happen for you. You get to the office and your secretary bring a file. And as you bring in the file, in a flat, you just see cowrie, cowrie shell on the file. And you look again, it, it's not there. And you say, oh, it's, maybe it's not. And you, you didn't do anything. You just collect the file. You are going about the day. And two days' time, something happened, you are sick. You can't get to the office again for six weeks. Because every time you ignore design, no matter how crazy it looks, you just, what you do is you submit your neck for the yoker and say, yoke me and tighten the yoke. That's what you have said. Your secretary is bringing family. Not, and you see two cowrie shell on the path. And you look again, there's nothing there. And she said, okay, and she really wants you to collect. Normally, she can tell her to drop on the table. And she really, she's standing. You know, there are some people that they, they use more than stuff to give. So you can't, it looks embarrassing for you not to collect what they are stretching to you. Say, madam, just don't drop the fire. Don't drop it. Just take it. I'll send for you when I need it. I send for it when I need it. Because you don't know yet. You have not, you also only go, just gave you that. Psh, psh. <laughs> I don't know even if it has happened to somebody. And when she leave, the blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit wants that. If you are on song, Holy Spirit, no, send the tellers. Pram, pram. If that from prayer. It either tells you this is what it means, this is what you do to disannulle. And if it doesn't tell you what it means, it tells you what to do. Just do this, do that. Sometimes there's nothing to it, so just take authority. And sometimes there's a practical instruction that follow. And say, send another staff, so and so, to go for that file, remove the content inside it, and bring it. Make sure it's not in any file when you are bringing it. <laughs> and the person bring it. Ah, and Madame Ah, Dr. Ajani. <laughs> Yeah, you're sure our food doctor you know, is more than a doctor and things like that. That is how it should be. That is how it should be. Is somebody ready? Is somebody ready? Say, I will not, I will not be contaminated this last days. In the name of Jesus. Open your spirit and pray. Anywhere you have been ignorant, you have been weak, you have been low, you have not been strong, you have not been sensitive, that you have opened yourself to anything strange, plead the blood of Jesus against it, take authority every spirit that is taking advantage of your, of your disadvantage, bind them and run them out of your fears in the name of Jesus. Take a stand. Pray, 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 pray. I give you two, three minutes to pray. And after you finish that prayer, start releasing the script. Take your Bible and release scriptures over your life. 
Release scriptures of dominion, scriptures of victory over your life. And after that, you, you, I'm going to come back to lead you to take a decision. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to put your right hand on your uh, on your chest this morning. And make a fresh commitment. A fresh commitment to the word of God. Colossians 3.16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. In all wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another. In psalms and hymns. And spiritual songs. Singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. That's what put you in the victory zone. So I want you to make a personal fresh commitment. To feed. You say, let. So it's a decision you have to take. Let. Let. Nobody will do it for you. You cannot let. You may not allow. Say, I will let the word of Christ dwell in me richly. The word of Christ, including the scriptures, reading the Bible, meditating on the word of God, the word of Christ, the word of the anointed, the word of the anointed. Words, teachings that God sent men, anointed by God to speak by the anointing to the spirit of God's people. I will let it dwell richly in me, in all wisdom, in every dimension. In every dimension, the impartation, the teaching, the correction, the rebuke. Make that fresh commitment and start with the assignment I've given you. Go study what the Bible has said about Satan. New Testament to Old Testament. And devote time, quality time to the study of the word. To the listening of messages. Feed your spirit. Don't run life with a lean soul. Don't run life with, a, with an empty spirit. It makes room for returning demons to find their way. Some Christians got contaminated again along the way. When returning demon came, it met their spirit empty. As Matthew 12, which made their spirit empty. And he went, goes to call seven more terrible demons. The end of them, at the end of that man, he's having worse experience as a Christian than he had as an unbeliever. It must stop. It must stop. Go back to feed it. Feed that spirit man. It is created in the image of God. It is God in you. That is God. Feed God in you. Let God grow in you. And Satan has nowhere to hide. Thank you, Father. Make that commitment. Mean it. And start. After the Sabbath. Don't say Sunday we have gone to church. No. Start tonight. Start today. Every day, set the alarm. Sit down. 
settle at your desk or go on your knees by your bed or wherever you want to do. Give it attention. Take in the word again. Feed your spirit. Reverend Olushola Areogun and Reverend Oyenike Areogun invite all female, all grandmothers, mothers, wives, single ladies and teenage girls to the upcoming 51st edition of the All Nations Women Congress on World Evangelization coming up on Friday 18th through Saturday 19th of October 2024 at the Dream Center of the Life Voices International Church Headquarters, Dream Center Bus Stop along Ocean State Secretariat at Berry Road shortly before the November 27th interchange Oshobo, Osho State, Nigeria. Time is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday and 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. The theme for this year's Congress is To this end was I born. John chapter 18 verse 37. Ministering under the power of the Holy Ghost is Reverend Olushola Areogu and Reverend Oyenike Areogu, another anointed servant of God. There will be various workshops for career and business women, for marriage and family matters, and for death destiny and calling matters. You can register for the 51st All Nations Women Congress on World Evangelization at shalareogoministries.org slash event slash ANWC. For further inquiries, please call plus 234-703-494-4020 plus 234-803-778-5698 plus 234-805-953-3180 or plus 234-803-599-9862. You can also send an email to allnationswomencongress at gmail.com. Come, all things are ready. Jesus is Lord.